What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Carl Southside. But we on our alternate channel, Carl Southside Gaming, you feel me? And then in this video, this is my official six foot six build that I'm gonna put my money into to, you know, start grinding this guy out. I'm not even pause. I'm not even gonna really waste y'all time, you feel me? Uh, this, honestly, I think is a very well-rounded build, you feel me? And uh, I want you guys to let me know what you think. Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna create the build. Uh, me, I made my guy six foot six, but I made him a shooting guard. Uh, you could go point guard or small forward, but I'd just rather go shooting guard for some reason. I like playing the two. And you know, right hand, it doesn't matter. Jersey number, I went 99. Continue. And like I said, I want a shooting guard. I went six foot six. And I went, let me see. I went 198 pounds, and my wingspan is also seven foot. The reason I went seven foot wingspan first is because you need an 86 three pointer to get silver agent threes, and me, uh, you can't get it with a 71, uh, seven foot one wingspan. So I went down a tick to get it to an 87 three point, but just ended up putting it to an 86. So it doesn't really make a, that big of a you feel me difference and my weight I went 198 because if you go 199 your acceleration drops to 86 and your acceleration being 87 on a six foot six player is key and I'm going to show you why in a bit when I finish getting into this builder first things first I'm going to get the physicals out the way and let me show you the acceleration the acceleration I chose like I just told you guys I can get myself an 87 and I'm gonna put this up and then come back to this and then show you uh, why I did that. And then my speed, I went with an 82. This year, I feel like speed is gonna be more important than last year. Last year, remember, we just needed acceleration. This year, I think it's a little mixture of both. And on top of that, you need strength on your builds. No matter if you make a point guard, shooting guard, small forward. If you wanna be decent on defense or something, you get strength impacts a lot of stuff this year. So this build, I put my strength to a 60. And my vertical, I only put to a 65 because I'm not, I don't care for contacts. I've been saying that. I just need some regular tomahawks and I'm able to get the LeBron James dunk package because the LeBron James dunk package, you need a 64 vertical and an 84 dunk. And I'm gonna have that on this build. And you're gonna be able to get the um, athletic hangs and the quick hangs off one. So it's basically, a fast dunk package and not only that rim grazers i feel like will also be really underrated uh so those are what i'm gonna get because obviously we don't have quick drops we don't have limitless takeoff uh for the stamina i put it to a 96. i'm gonna come back to this and show you guys why i did all of this 96 okay so you see the physicals it's like i said tweak this tool if you want to put the vertical higher do you but this is what i'm doing but now let's go to the um the the defense me i'm a guard this year you got to sacrifice everything is expensive i didn't put rebounding on my bills i'm a 6'6 guard that's not one of my main concerns my my defensive rebound only goes to a 40. offensive rebound i don't have anything my block though block goes to a 70. and even if you look at the top right it says you can't get anchor because you got to go six seven but I didn't want to go 6'7 because I don't want to drop my acceleration down because I wouldn't be able to get um blow by, speed booster, and all of that uh, gold. I would have been only able to get it silver. It's not lighting up now because I'm not finished making it. But once, like I said, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, the block, I gave myself 70 block. Me, I'm doing block over steel. And I feel like this year, you're a guard. You got to choose two things. Either... De uh, Perimeter defense and steal or perimeter defense and block? I'm doing perimeter defense and block. That's just me. You feel what I'm saying? Perimeter defense, I give myself an 85. And interior, I gave myself a 70. You need interior defense this year. So those are the defensive stats right there. I got 70. It was, honestly, it's not bad for guard-like play style. I'm not, you feel me? I don't... I wanted to steal, but like I said, bro, this year is expensive. We got to sacrifice someone, bro. I just chose sacrificing on there. Steal with ball, I gave myself an 83. 83 steal with ball. And as you can see, if you go to an 82 steal with ball, you lose hybrid driver tier. I didn't want to do that. And if you max it out, you don't gain anything. You, 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 gain, you gain 
triple juke, but or strike, whatever you call this badge. I didn't care for that. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at hyperdrive as I'm doing this this part. You feel me? So yeah, I gave myself an 83 uh, speed with ball. ball handle, 93. I'm not sure why I went 93 versus 92. A lot of people go 92 because if you go 91. You know, you get blow by silver, killer combo, speed booster, unpluckable silver. You go 92. These turn gold. I went 93 because killer combos is 93. So I'm right there. Why not give myself the extra point? And killer combo might work this year. So I just did that. No point of me just going 92 and I could just literally do that and gain a badge. And on top of that, also too, Enzo Breaker goes to Hall of Fame. And on top of that, this is what you need to have almost every good animation. You don't gotta, because this year there is a lot of animations, bro. If you did not know, there's a lot of them. They added a lot of little moves as well. Aggressive combo breakdown, you know, this and all this other stuff. But yeah, and then pass accuracy, I went with a 77. And before y'all say anything, let me tell you something, bro. These passes are not gonna be slow. It'll, you'll be perfectly fine, bro, with a 77. Because not only that, like I said, it's expensive this year. You have to sacrifice. You're not gonna be able, it's not 2K23 when you'd be, you, you'd been able to do all this, get an 80 sun pass accuracy, bro. You gotta just settle. A 77 to me is good. I'm not gonna go any passing style because like I said, that's what I'm sacrificing. You feel what I'm saying? And my three point, I went to an 86. Even though it says 87, I went 86 because at 87, I only gained gold space creator. I didn't really care for that. I'm gonna be honest. I was looking at agent threes while I was doing this because if you go, because I first, so I did this, I went 85 to for bronze limitless. Then I just dawned on me that silver agent three is only plus one more. So I was like, I might as well do that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the free throw, I play rec and all this other stuff. So I just put it to a 63 for now. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to bring with that. I don't, you know, no one's really complaining about the free throw. They even added a new free throw badge called free points. So I don't know if that's something you guys want to put up or not. But if you play park, by all means, take this shit down as much as you can. Because, you know, it takes down another attribute with it. Now with 93 overall out of 99, we got six overalls left. All right. Now we're going to finish them off right here. Close shot, you want to go to a 64. 64 close shot. And driving layup, you want to go 84. And this is going to give me silver uh, fearless finisher. And it's going to give me also more uh, other badges. And the reason why I went 84 too is De'Aaron Fox has great layup animations. And I'm looking at his, his driving layup. And you need an 84 to get De'Aaron Fox's driving layup. That's why I went 84. Driving dunk, I told you guys earlier in the video, I went 84 because of LeBron's dunk package. LeBron has them dunks taken, taken off from, from fucking God knows where. And this is the build right here. Uh, as you can see, bro, like, you, like these are all badges you're going to be able to, to get. You see, I have a lot of good badges. The only one that is, is bronze is literally Area Wizard, but you know what I'm saying? Everything else is, is decent. You have layups. Driving layup is under, I'm telling you, this year you're going to need it. I'm, t trust me on this, you're going to need it. Slithery, I wish I would have been able to get it higher, but I, I didn't feel like going that high on a layup or dunk. 91, like we said, this year you're gonna have to sacrifice. A lot of people are going to mid, they're going like mid 80. They're going between 80 and 85 this year, 87 for the contact. I don't, I don't care for contacts. That's, you feel me? I'm gonna have other builds with contacts, but this is not really one of them. This is just my main build, all around build, get the job done. You feel me? And then you know, I went 72 on the mid range for mini magician. As you can see down here. Mini Magician is uh, is silver, but you go, uh, it was this first and I went silver. And then you see, this is right here. I feel like this is a really well-rounded build. Like I said, you can tweak this to how you want. And I'm gonna go back to the physicals, like I said earlier. Uh, as you can see, you see the speed, right? You take it down one, hyperdrive goes from gold to silver. I didn't want that, I wanted gold. And even if you put it higher, you don't gain nothing. Cause it's very expensive. But the acceleration, this is why I didn't go 6-7, because if you're 6-7, you can't even get an 87 acceleration to get speed booster gold. If, you, if you're if you 6-7, I think the highest you get it is 86, but you need an 87 to even get it a, a thing. Like, you, you, it says it right here. You need an 87. If, I don't want to have it silver. I need my shit gold. You feel me? That's just me. If you want to make a 6-7 with silver, you, you do that. I'm not doing it. Strength. 60 strength. I went for a certain call. If you see physical handles... And Fearless Finisher goes from bronze to silver. 
That's what I wanted. All these other badges that are, you know, blacked out, these are big man badges, you know, box out, brick wall, back down punisher, full swing lockdown. I'm not worried about that. The vertical. Let me tell you something. The vertical. Like I said, I keep saying time and time again, you have to sacrifice, bro. The vertical, me, I'm not getting contact, so it's essentially not worth it for me to get a vertical. And all I need is literally just because for LeBron's dunk package, you, you need an 84 driving dunk, which I have, and a 64 vertical. I just want 65 because it's literally it's right there. So that's why I did that, I rounded up type shit. And you feel me? That's that's why I did that. Like I said. Use this as a template and tweak this to how you want, but this build could do everything. It could dunk, it could shoot, it could play make, it has defense, it could, it has good physical. I'm not clickbaiting y'all, because you know niggas be doing that on some bullshit. And the stamina. The reason I went so high on the stamina is because for the handles for days. I could have dropped it and went silver, but I didn't want to do that. Because this year, the dribbling is not as easy as it seems. I ain't gonna lie, this, this year the defense is good. And you're going to be dribbling more than usual to get past somebody. Why not have the much, you know, as most stamina as possible? Handles for days. Uh, so uh, I went gold. Like I said, 96. And this is my, this is my six foot six build right here. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people have six foot six builds already. I'm seeing, and their build isn't too off from mine. So the only difference I'm really seeing with these builds is, you know, they're having more vertical than me. They have a driving dunk. They're downing their three point to the 70s. I'm not doing all that. I need an 86 three point. I'm not, that don't mean I cannot shoot with lower three point. I just prefer to have silver agent threes because they said they nerfed the fades, but I was shooting around. I don't really see a, a difference, honestly. Uh, and yeah, this is my build right here. So, once you finish the build, it should give you a floor spacing slasher. It's gonna give you Austin Reeves, J.R. Smith, and like you see, uh, Bradley, Bradley build, and you should get a floor spacing slasher. And then if you test the build, you, you could see how it looks like, you know, when it's all said and done. And honestly, this is not a bad build. Like, you feel me? I know there's gonna be people that's gonna look at the, the vertical or whatever, because a lot of people be vertical crazy in, in these games. It be people who don't even have contact dunks on their builds, they vertical like a fucking high 80. Why? 65 or 70? I had a different version of this. I went 70, but I was like, nah, 65 is 65. I feel like oh, I'll be fine. You feel what I'm saying? You see, I got perimeter defense. I got block. Like I said, you're either gonna choose perimeter and steal or perimeter and block. I chose perimeter and block. Rebounding, I'm sac you gotta sacrifice somewhere. I sacrifice rebound, I sacrifice some vert, I sacrifice contacts. Even a little a bit of pass accuracy, bro. This year is this builder is complex. You don't want to make a mistake because then then that, that, then DC prices is taxing. You feel me? But yeah, this is my six foot six build right here. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna get some gameplay with it for you guys, and, and in the future you're gonna see me going crazy with this build because I adapt to every 2K. But yeah, that's basically you know quick little short video. Carl Southside, I like like this new channel because this is my. My new channel, I'm gonna put my old channel into the description, you know, comment, like it, you know what I'm saying? We we coming up with all this content. I'ma holler at y'all boys, man.